on. Theo wants to say something. Yes, fat baby. Uh, what are you doing? I won't be right there. It's you running through my veins. Your love runs through my veins. What's up, YouTube family? Okay, so I hope you guys can see me. I am in the basement. The lighting isn't too great. There is a window in front of me. Yes. All right, so excuse that interruption, guys. Husband came down here asking questions. He already knew the answer to. But okay, here's Theo's blanket. I just took it out of the dryer because I have already washed it. But um, I haven't told you guys yet, but Theo got pink eye out of nowhere. Yes, I know. And... <laughs> I really don't need that kind of energy in my life. Like, I already feel like my eye is getting a little bit dry and a little bit itchy. I'm trying to fight it. So, just to combat that, I feel like everything needs to be super extra clean. So, we're going to start with his blanket. All right. Now, in this measuring cup, I have one-fourth cup of baking soda. Yes, baking soda. Let's sprinkle that on in there get it all around and then it says that you are supposed to add a generous helping of Tide now everybody that I've seen do this stripping laundry stripping thing use powdered Tide but I don't like powdered laundry detergents so I just went to the dollar store and got this little tiny bottle of Tide so we're just going to add about half of this maybe in there just for GP because it's what I got so let me open this un momento por favor alright so I got it open not even gonna measure it we just gonna pour and that was pretty much all of it so all of it there it goes um, I am a horrible pourer. I didn't mean to get it all up there and on the side and such. But okay. And then it also says you're supposed to add borax. But I went to two different Walmarts. Nobody had borax. Um, I'm not necessarily sure where you buy borax. But that's what it says you're supposed to add. I don't have that. Um... And I don't want to bleach his blanket either because it's like it's a whole bunch of different colors in it and I don't want to fade it. But I do have this, this OxyClean um, stuff here. Like this is the only powdered thing that I put in laundry. It's supposed to be like a stain remover or whatever, but I feel like OxyClean gets out a lot of stains and everything else, right? So we're just going to try it. So, yeah, I'll do about that much. Get that all around and in there. Okay. Now, let me move the baking soda. Now to get the main part I have to clean that um our washer I could put it on like deep water because it's a blanket but his blanket isn't that thick like it's only a twin so I'm just going to put it on the auto sensing extra rinse feature and on hot because everyone who made a video about laundry stripping says you're supposed to use super hot water so I'm going to put it on hot and then I have it set to the bulky item feature. Now we're going to start it. Alright, so as the washing machine is filling up, I want to stay down here until it finishes filling up with water and then I'm going to put the washing machine on pause and just leave the laundry in there so that it can soak because that is the one thing that you have to do 
one stripping laundry is leave it to soak for five hours. How many hours? Five hours. So after this fills up with water, before it can start, you know, turning in an actual washing cycle, I'm gonna turn the washing machine on pause and go on about the rest of my day, put a timer on for five hours and just let it soak. And apparently what's supposed to happen is with stripping your laundry, it's supposed to like draw out all the other like residue from like the detergents and your body oils and all of that stuff that is left on your laundry after you wash it. So I'm assuming that the water is supposed to get dark and dirty and cloudy and all that stuff because apparently it's still dirty and I just want all of the pink eye germs to come out of this blanket. So I feel the steam coming out of the washing machine from the water so hopefully the water gets nice and hot in there and then if I like how this comes out then I'll do Theo sheets as well because right now he has on a different set of sheets on his bed we just took everything off that was originally on his bed for it all to get washed the most people i've seen that have done this like i originally heard about laundry stripping from marriage and motherhood shout out to gia but i originally saw it on her page and she did hers in the bathtub and then i looked up other videos and mostly everybody else did it in the bathtub and then they took wrung the laundry out by hand and then took it to their washing machine and washed it all over again but listen that's why god invented the spin cycle so we're just gonna let it soak in this good old washing machine that way we don't have to take sopping wet laundry from the upstairs bathtub all the way to the basement just for it to get washed no 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 all right, so the fill has just stopped. It's full of water. And here we are looking at the water. Oh, the water's pretty hot. All right, it's not that cloudy. Because at first I was thinking, like, okay, you did just put baking soda in here. Like, that's already going to make the water cloudy. That's not really saying much about whether or not it's taking out dirt and toxins and such. But, oh, it's dark back there. Um, <laughs> but okay, the water is clear. It is hot. Um, there's like a lot of condon, some water droplets and stuff from all the steam. So yeah, I'm going to close the lid back. Uh, press the start power button well, now because I opened the lid it's going to fill back up a little bit with water I don't know why it does that but we're going to hit pause and we're going to see it alright so the washing machine is paused and I will see you guys in about two hours Okay, so it is now 2.45. Mommy, Mom, Mom, the pee the house to die. Okay, yeah, we didn't bring the charger home, so why don't you go hop on your tablet then and do educational games? Thank you. Love you. Appreciate you. Okay, so here we are. Water is still warm. Um, I'm not like noticing an overabundance of dirty water. Still pretty clear, but we're still gonna let this soak. And I gotta remember, I didn't have all the proper ingredients, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's the soap, but my hand has like a a film on it. Like every time I put my hand in the water, it like, I don't know. I'm just gonna 
go wash my hands after this but okay we'll check back in two hours from now all right guys so <laughs> it is way after two hours later like I have picked the boy uh, Tom Tom up from school I have helped with homework um, <laughs> and I'll have the hiccups we've had dinner it is now 7 10 in at night in the evening whatever but I don't know the water is still pretty clear this has been soaking all day the water is actually still warm I don't know, I'm just going to assume that this, like, film that I feel on my hand is from the soap and whatnot. But, alright, I'm going to turn the wash cycle back on and let this finish and then dry it. So, okay. Push the button and everything starts back up. So yeah, we'll see how this turns out. Seems about normal to me. Okay, so I just pulled the blanket out of the washer. And here we are. I don't like off the bat notice anything special or different. I guess that's why people do it in the bathtub. Um. I just smelled the blanket it it kind of doesn't smell like anything like no noticeable fragrance like even the fragrance that came with the um, tide that I poured in it doesn't really have like an outstanding odor so or fragrance not odor but whatever so I'm gonna let this dry um, yeah and then see how I feel about it once it's all dry all right good morning so it is the next day um, after I took the blanket out of the washing machine threw it in the dryer and then I just turned it on came upstairs went to bed you like your blanket no I want it to be hot well it's not um I can honestly say that the blanket does look brighter like the white of the blanket does look brighter after going through that stripping process well somewhat stripping process but the white does look brighter um and still there's no like fragrance on the blanket whatsoever that I noticed the material still feels good like it doesn't feel like I stripped the softness out of it um so yeah I'm gonna try it with his sheets and put his blanket back on his bed but okay I'm still gonna go look for borax wherever that is so that I can like properly do the stripping process and see if there's really like a big difference and maybe maybe I'll do it in the tub so I can see if there's a difference in the water because there's no way that I could have done that in the tub with the blanket like I couldn't have wrung that out <laughs> to bring it downstairs so I'm going to do it with the sheet because at least with the sheet I would have a better option not option but a better chance of being able to wring it out to take it downstairs to wash it again but yeah you hold on Theo wants to say something yes fat baby uh, <laughs> what are you doing I won't be like that oh your eye Aren't down like he's still his happy chipper self 
But alright guys, please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. No, no, I want to want to say that. Like the grave. And we'll see you in the next one. No. Bye-bye. <laughs>